Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SanFX YouTube channel, and this is Poco XC custom ROM reviews. Morning, I have posted the latest TWRP, how to flash it, and the flashing gate for this particular ROM, the Rise Droid. You can see here it is the Rise Droid. Uh, device is recognized as kernel but it's applicable for both the devices as you can see the version is 6.0 beta version this is android version 13 and 5th september 2022 is the latest security patch available for this particular rom build version also you can see here and kernel use here is 4.14.294 snake poor snake power kernel this is how it is and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 6 minutes 56 seconds and 4 milliseconds. You can see here the maximum is 189 and average is 177 and minimum is 129 million JPS and it is 200 threads. And you can see here it's throttled to 91% of its max performance. People requested to me make this kind of 200 threads process, hence I made it, guys. You can see the scores. This is just an app results if i again continuously run for other 15 minutes it might get different uh, graph here but it just gives a idea is it any having any thermal throttling or not but day-to-day -day performance but day-to-day -day performance is very good in this particular room as you can see just i uh, put it here and i mean i came back from gallery the google photos the watch has been uh, relaunched here i don't know why it is that's how it is and this is a quick settings panel look at simple enough as you can see and in the edit section you get plenty of options here as you can see the app active you get here as you can see when whenever you have any apps running in the background it is shown here and settings and power button has been moved down i keep on telling it because it's an initial build of android 13 and so it's like this and you can also see the lock screen and opening time and this how it is and moving into dialer you get a google dialer direct video call feature you can see it's working right now in android 13 all the direct video call features are working fine and call recording is also there but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call and that's how it is you can see this is the dialer you get and you can see some of the settings you can block the numbers you can enable call recording auto call recording also you can do it out these are the things you get as you can see some of the options you can see in the dialer and this how the quick settings panel there is little bit of lag going on even if i swipe left for google pen card also there is little bit of lag has been noticed here i've been using it from now couple of hours i posted the uh, flashing method long back but still you can see here i did not uh, found helpful this room there is little bit of luck but overall the ui experience is fine as you can see this is how the settings panel moving from settings to home screen and home screen to app drawer and uh, uh, quick settings to as you can see it's not too smooth as i shown again if i go back to settings here again and if I come to quick settings, it might take a little bit of lag here. That's need to be fixed in the upcoming builds. Now moving into settings, you get all the customization here in the personalization. Keep, uh, click on the kitchen so you can see better information. You can read here. Lot more customization. I will start from the end. Wi-Fi icon style. You can choose here. Style, system shapes, signal icon style, navigation bar style icon pack and one more thing guys navigation bar let me know in the comment section guys how many of you still use the navigation bar instead of gesture i really want to know people like to use gestures or navigation bar let me know in the comment section icon packs so you get kind of customization here too and font style you can keep anything i kept a little bit bold in the accessibility settings it will be showing you in a while because it will be looking easy in the video status bar icons you can enable or disable from here and the network traffic indicator is available you can see if you enable you get some options here location privacy indicator and data disabled indicator colored icons if you want you can enable here clock style you can choose among left or right clock and date also this controls are the brightness control if you want you can enable in the status bar battery percentage and battery style also you can choose print of options are there in terms of customization 
background chip is there for the icon if you want you can enable that setting style requires app you can even change the settings here it's currently in sushi style if you want you can change to palette arcane aosp pixel 7 material palace but you need to restart it in order to get changes and conceptual home page messages there is again requires app pressure but that is option available and columns you can adjust the landscape and put it the value of it you can increase or decrease here title alignment is there label text size is there hide label setting shortcut running service shortcuts and power menu shortcuts edit tights icon and data usage usage account icon footer alerts lot more customization you can see in this particular rom all the things are given in just one simple way no need to check for all the things it's good but it depends upon you for me it's looking fine everything is under the hood in a single screen i'm a single page no need to find for anything else and hide qs and secure lock screen brightness slider position also you can choose top or bottom slider visibility you can choose from here battery style again it this is belonging to a quick settings panel no yeah this is for status bar and this is for quick settings the down thing you need to check those and battery information and these are the customization and this is too important unlocking high fps in games many people skip my video and they will ask how to enable high fps in games like bgm app pubg mobile you need to enable that in the settings present in the personalization you can check out and unlimited photo storage also you need to enable from here then only you will get a google photos unlimited stuff weather settings there is again a some more customization available game space is also available i don't think so anyone use that and disable usb debugging those kind of options are still available in this game mode in this rise trad 6.0 this is an official beta version i hope so they will make one more version of it let's see but as of now it's okay not great enough now checking back the other settings you get and if Typical display settings here, lock screen, you can choose some of the customization from here, ambient display, if you want, you can enable or disable from here. It's working fine in my couple of hours of experience and dark theme, you get here, pure black option, that's the one thing I already wanted, that's available here, if you want, you can use that, it is very good in my opinion, and display size and text, it's actually available in accessibility settings, you can see here, I kept a bold text and display size, you can check out here at what length it is you also keep the same then only the quick settings panel looks like this if not it will look very tiny in my opinion you can have this settings copy and same apply the same live display option is given here display mode you can cho choose from automatic and outside and reading mode color calibration rgb strength picture adjustment those things are fine here if and you can customize them further and uh, colors option if i keep boosted i did not face any problem here in terms of display as you can see it's bright enough even the auto brightness sensor is also working fine in this particular rom rotation settings peak refresh rate is kept to 120 and minimum refresh rate to 60 font you can keep to 30 to 120 dynamic refresh rate is working fine here you just need to give your respectable settings full screen apps if you don't find any apps not playing in the full screen then you can enable from here but why it is blank i don't know whenever you install certain app it will get option here maybe if you know guys let me know in the comment section tap to wake is there allow window level blurs tap to sleep wake on plug all these options are available in this particular rom now moving into wallpaper and style as you can see again there is a little bit of a delay in terms of ui here and there there is a little bit of delay in the ui you can see you can change the wallpapers there are no pre-installed wallpapers here and basic colors and 13 style plenty of colors should be there yeah it's available even the wallpaper colors you get plenty of options here combination of colors dark theme as i said before and themed icons is still in beta and upgrade you get up to 16 to 10 
apps grid size this is the options available in wallpaper and style apps you get again default apps if you want to change the default app you can change from your sushi launcher is the principal launcher if you want you can change that it also depends upon settings what i explained before and special app access you can enable or disable some of the settings from here wallpaper and style i already shown moving into battery you can see here battery usage it's quite a good battery life here i am getting as you can see even i played a pubg mobile if you want you can play bgm also little bit of from difficult for me in terms of downloading bgm and i am showing pubg mobile gameplay here and geek bench some of the android benchmark results are also i will show it out i have been running those things and this how the battery life you got in this particular rom rice dried rom and battery saver options are available and you can schedule them also based on percentage and time also and battery light options are given you can enable or disable from here and turn off and fully charge and those options are given battery temperature you can see those those all the options available in this customization in terms of battery battery life is good storage and sound and vibration you get again print of options here me sound enhancer is available headphone type and preset you can choose from here no other extra direct sound settings only these two are available here accessibility menu again as i said display and text as is it is available here and some of the other app accessibility menu you can watch out my evolution x video there i explained these things in detail and security settings you get this thing and you only get a fingerprint unlock not more anything and more security settings you can see here rom is encrypted by default and that's how it is i will show you within a while the fingerprint scanner there is no face unlock here and privacy settings those things are working fine location is also working fine no problem regarding that safety and emergency password and accounts auto fill those things are working fine no problem regarding that too also on system if you go into uh, gestures you can see here system navigation there is option to increase the pill length basic functions and customization i really found this is the one best rom for in terms of customization as of now considering it's an android 13 rom but still there is a little bit of lag as you can see again the home screen has been loaded again i don't know why it's happening if you guys can see from the beginning the video you can check out there is some delay in the ua and lag in the ua maybe they will fix in official stable if you want to wait for that you can wait now starting the benchmark results you can see again the app opening time of android benchmark app here 3 lakh 62067 is the score and during this testing i lost 7 degree celsius i mean 4 percent of battery has been lost during this testing and 7 degree celsius has been increased the heat during this testing it's fine the scores are good but that's how it is this is how the android benchmark results and geek pen scores again you can see it's also not as great as some other roms 535 single score and 1543 is the multi score and linux 4.14.294 snake power kernel has been used here which is decent enough but ui maintenance is not that good i mean in terms of reliability in the ua is i did not found it if you guys have it let me know in the comment section guys i don't think so i recommend it but anyhow this is how the camera application this is something like gcam you get all the options here as you can see in the even video options are also there are print of options if i can show you as you can see up to 4k video support is also available i don't think so we have any auxiliary camera support here yeah if you want you can use always the arno build gcam which i always show in the any poco x custom rom videos and connectivity wise the uh, wi-fi connection i have here like 100 mps geo fiber connection you can see it's pulling up to 1995 even with mobile data connection also working fine no problem regarding in terms of uh, network and uh, communication those are fine even the earpiece quality is fine enough and the headphone jack quality is also fine enough in this particular rom let me show you the charging animation and will it support 33 watt charger or not let's check out and by the way if you're first time to this channel guys hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys you can see here it is not showing charging rapidly it is showing charging slowly only this is the main thing people need fast charging in custom roms that is 
not the case in this particular arm it's still showing charging slowly which is a bummer in this particular rom what do you guys say about this let me know in the comment section guys and regarding fingerprint unlock as you can see it's okay it's also not a quickest but still comparing other features this is a little bit fast enough but overall UI it's not completely cooked ROM I can say that's how it is and uh, if you want to use it as a daily driver you can use it out but I don't recommend let's see BGMA gameplay and you guys can see here the graphics is set to smooth plus uh, 90 fps you can see let me keep it that's how it is effects this is pubg mobile not vgma you guys can see here brightness is kept to max here but still i can't see it's completely max but anyhow it's fine here that's a minor bug i can encounter here but uh, at least in the gameplay it's smooth i am feeling that 90 fps If you guys can see how it handles the major map of the mobile gameplay. And this is the volume panel of it. Simple. I still I can say the Evolution X was a little bit better in terms of stability in the UI I am speaking not the customization customization is little bit better here you get last lot more customization can see it I hope so and I'll come back here and there is no fast charging support in this particular ROM and there is UI lag I have been noticed and I have been showing also you can see this all the recent apps here it's fine enough and uh, that's all guys if you like the video give it a like and morning I post today flashing method don't make mistakes flash it properly and regarding twrp latest version many people asking it will we switch it to that yeah most of the roms will come uh, will be useful if you use that twrp and when and ever you get any failure i mean flashing method failure you can watch my videos guys i'll be telling those things and you can replace the twrp the older version keep the backup of it i mean the file you can flash anytime and uh, that's all we'll meet with another interesting video until that keeps running bye bye for now